students come running out of Geyser Middle School, eager to get to their science lesson. It may not look like much, but 7th graders in Charlene Shea's class and 6th graders in Megan Graves' class have taken ownership of this drainage system that they've nicknamed Geyser Pond. First, they cleared out invasive species. Then they started their tests. The 6th graders are checking for chemicals in the water. The 7th graders are looking for macroinvertebrates. Oh, there's another one, Cody, right inside there. See him? For somebody that isn't a scientist, explain to me what a macro is. Bugs. <laughs> That's right, bugs. Checking for different species reveals the level of pollution in the water. The ones that are high pollution tolerant, they can, if there's a lot of those, then we can tell that there's been a lot of pollution in our school from all the garbage on the ground. And if there's a lot of low pollution, then that means that our school has been like very helpful in picking up garbage. To see the effect of that pollution, the students simply follow the macros. The bugs usually go down the stream, then the stream ends up in lakes. So the pollution would end up in lakes and, and other rivers. Instead of being told how our ecosystem works, these students are seeing it close up. We learn what the bugs like actually look like and how they react instead of just looking at pictures. So. Their teacher tells us that kind of first-hand experience teaches a valuable lesson. The students are seeing how they can and are already using science to make a difference. The work that the Geyser student scientists are doing here at Geyser Pond is going to have an impact both here and downstream for many years to come. For In the Know, I'm Chad Young.